In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a simple HTML website in HTML using only Notepad. You don't need anything else to do this tutorial. Uh, it's the uh, beginner guide, and all you need is Notepad and a web browser to be able to view your website. The end goal of this tutorial is to be able to make a heading tag, make some paragraphs, how to add links, and how to add images into your site as well. And in the next tutorial, you'll also learn how to make colors using CSS, like the background color and the font styles. Okay. Okay, the first step to set up your HTML website in Notepad is to open your text editor. So in Windows, you can use Notepad. You might have a different program in your system. And it's just a blank text file, usually used for just writing bits of text on different lines. So the first step is to change it from a text file into a HTML file. So if you go to File and Save As, and the next step is important, you change it from a .txt file. Uh, just give a name for your website. I'm going to call mine My Website. And at the end, you'll press .html. The .htm or .html is very important. It will open this in the future as a HTML website file that your browser can open. So we'll save that. Okay, you'll see at the top, you've got my website. And we can just test that that works. saved it there on the desktop and you can see already it will open as a internet browser file let's have a look so it's opened here you can see my website.html and at the moment it's completely blank because we don't have any html code in there just yet okay, so that's step one is save it as a .html file okay, next is we're going to do the basic hypertext markup language or HTML structure. And to do that, you'll go to the first line in your notebook. And we will start typing. We'll do the less than symbol, exclamation, and then type doc, type and space, HTML, and then do a more than symbol. So this will declare this as a document type is being HTML. So when the browser opens it, it knows the type of document. Okay. Next thing, in the HTML structure, you can have as much space as you want. It will not matter. Um, so you can leave a little gap. And next, we will do our HTML tags. So again, use the less than, more than symbol, HTML. And then close that tag. So these are tags. You'll use these a lot in HTML. And if you open a tag, apart from this first document one, if you open a tag, you need to close it. So I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to go down a few lines. And because I've opened the HTML tag to start the document, I need to end the document. The difference is you need a backslash at here. So this says it closes the tag, opens the tag. Next, you need the next tag, tag which will be after HTML, which is head. Again, because we've opened this tag, make sure you close the tag. Put a backslash there. And the head will control lots of information about how this HTML file is set up. Okay. Um, one which we can show you today is we can have a title tag, and this will have the title of the HTML file. Um, so for now, let's just add in speech marks my HTML website. 
website. And because we've opened this title tag, let's close it over here. And we can close it. Next thing, how do we know if that's done anything? So this is the next step. If you save it and then open up this blank website you had before and just refresh this page. You might not notice many changes, but if you've spotted it at the very top here, you can see the title, so in the head tag, the title tag controls what is the title of the website in the tab above here. So that will control what that message will say. Next step, going back into our notepad. Um, you can see that here, my HTML website. If I was to change that a little bit, let's add some exclamation marks, and then save it. Okay, remember to refresh this web page. You can see the changes made at the top. Next step, very important. So the head controls things like the background of the website. And the section where you will have your main content is the body tag. So underneath the head, we have body. Okay, and because we open body, we need to close body as well. So put your backslash in here. And this is where the content of the website will go. So in the body tag, we will make a simple web page header. So inside body, we can start with one another tag, which is H1. This stands for header one. You can put this on the same line as well. So we'll just open it. So I will close it and put your slash in there. So inside H1, this will open a header tag, heading tag. Um, so H1, you'll see the different types, and we can just write, welcome to my website inside there. Okay. And I'll save it. And if we take a look at our website, refreshing it, you can see this is the title. You can see it's slightly bigger text. I'll show you the different types of headings as well. Um, so in the next line, I'm just going to copy this line just for speed. I'm going to put H2 here. And let's just write this is, oops, this is heading 2. We'll save and refresh. And you can see each H1, H2, H3, H4, and H5 will gradually get slightly smaller. Um, just to quickly show you that, um, let's change these. Three, four, five, H3, H4, H5, H3, H4, H5. Again, save, and we'll test what that did. Refresh, and you can see each heading is slightly smaller than, than the one before. Okay. So you can use that for um, anything you want to be slightly bigger than others. So at the moment, don't worry about any style. That comes later when we will look at CSS or cascading style sheet. Um, if you have tags, you can control the font and the color and the size from the CSS style sheet in a different way. But at the minute, we're going to focus on just the content of our website. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the smaller headings and we'll start to add in some paragraphs. So just like H1, you can have a P tag that stands for paragraph. This is my first paragraph for my website. And again, remember to end that P tag. Again, we'll just press file, save. Keep testing as you go, just in case you made a mistake, you can spot your error straight away. 
like and now you can see the paragraph will look like this again in the CSS you can control style later to the whole document okay so you could fill your entire page with lines and lines of paragraph and that's your content um, so the next step is I'm going to show how to make a link to either a link to another notebook so a HTML page or you can link to an external website so to do that the next tag is the hyperlink tag which is a okay um, and this one's slightly different so you don't actually end with this little symbol here make this bigger so you can read it you have a and then you type in h ref equal and then in quotes type in the name of your website so you could copy and paste across your url address from the website i'm just going to type in youtube.com and then this tag here this will link to youtube.com um, we'll just test that and see what that runs at the moment but it's not quite finished yet um, refresh okay so you can see nothing actually appears there yet so after this tag we can type in the link to the website so I might right click here for YouTube so this is the text to go with the link and again remember to close the tag and this tag is closed the same way as maybe the P tag okay, so if you've got an A like this so you've got the external website address in the first part this is the text that it will display and it's enclosed inside that A tag or link save and refresh your page again and you can see that there, there's the link click here for YouTube and you'll link to an external website okay. okay the next skill I'll show you is how to add an image onto a web page so we can start to get some content that is like an image file so again in your notepad we'll put it just below so the image tag is a little bit like the link tag in the way that it opens with the word IMG and then you don't have to have the more than symbol here and then that will say that it's this line of code it's gonna have an image there and then you need s r c which stands for source so it's where does that image come from or where is that file on your documents so equals and then you need to make sure your image file needs to be in the same folder that your website is contained in so usually you'll have a folder with all your website files in at the moment mine is just on my desktop um, and I've got this file here it's a JPEG file it's called computer it was just an AI generated image to use for this so if it's in the same folder you can type the name of that file computer.jpg and your quotes so as long as it's in the same folder it will find the image source computer.jpg and you could close it there and oh, we don't need that uh, and that should show an image on that next part so sa save test it works perfect so we've got that image there okay, and it's opened up it's quite a large image you can change the size and the height the width later okay, so let's go back to the notepad and inside your image tag this is where you can have extra things about that image so one you might have is alternative text so you can type ALT 
and let's just write image of a boy on my computer. And if the image doesn't load, it will basically say this alternative text. It's also good for maybe things like accessibility. Um, so we've saved it. Let's open it up. Refresh. Again, you won't see that message. It would be if this failed to load or the link changed, it would show that on the page as well. Okay, the next thing, inside your image, again, that image file was, was quite a large image. You can type in height equals 100, and I think that should go to 100 pixels. And width, you can set as well. I think if the height is 100, it should have aspect ratio, and it should change the width as well. So let's just save that. And we'll test that. Okay, and you can see the image has gone to 100 pixels wide. So you can control the size of the image inside the tag as well. Um, okay, so inside the body tag, again, you've got a heading, a paragraph, a link, and an image. With those, you can start to combine and add some more information. Um, as well, we've already saved it, so I've, we've tested it as we've gone along. So again, to save your file, you will save or save as. Again, making sure it's a .html file afterwards. So let's just save. And again, when you test it in your browser, you can keep testing as you go along. Okay, so little next steps. We can then start to add some color into this document. You would do that with a CSS file. You can also do that in Notepad, and we can link these two files together. We'll do that in the, the head section, where we'll link to the CSS file, and it will start to control the style, the colors, the fonts of the web page. So we can change it from a plain background to a colored one. We can start to change the font and the text and the text sizes. So I'll link that video in the end on the YouTube video. Again, this was just a little quick run through to make some basic skills, start using the structure of HTML and to start to learn about using HTML and designing websites. Again, a few quick tips. Uh, make sure if you open a tag, you need to control the tag. Everything is inside the HTML. You then have the head, where you'll control information such as the title, so the name of the website at the top of your browser. And then body will control the content, so your headings, paragraphs, any links and images or videos inside your web page. Um, later, you can then start to experiment with cascading style sheets or CSS linking in the head to that file, which you can see if you subscribe and check out the other videos, you can see the CSS tutorial there as well. And it was just a quick little guide to using HTML using Notepad or a text editor. And hopefully you've followed along and you can start testing that yourself. Let me know in the comments if there's any questions or let me know how you got on yourself as well. Thank you for watching.